Okay. So, hello everyone. I welcome you all to the session of engineering with Dr. Nabad Grade A. Today we have with us the newly selected Nabad Grade A officer, Mr. Pawan Gokhale. This was his second attempt, and he has given this uh, Nabad exam in the general stream. So let us know about his journey and the strategy that he followed to clear this exam. Hello, Pawan. I welcome you to this session. Thank you, Ram. Hello. Hello. So, Pawan, as it's been days since the exam has been, the exam result has been declared. So, has the feeling been there? Clear this exam. I'm feeling good. Man. Okay, so uh, Pawan, can you please tell the student about your educational background and how did you decide to give the Nabad Grade exam? Ah, uh, sir, madam, I have uh, cleared uh, uh, MBA, uh, okay. so it uh, it was very helpful uh, for me uh, for the management part. I have aced uh, uh, Nabad Grade B also, so okay. I have been waitlisted in that uh, Grade B, and okay. I have cleared in Grade A. Uh, so the education uh, that comes uh, MBA helped me in management for grade B. Okay. okay. Uh, management portion was covered. Mm -hmm. uh, and the ERD, I had to study uh, from the uh, various sources, uh, especially uh, the EDUTAP. Initially, okay. in the first attempt, uh, uh, I had to understand from the basic uh, point of view. So EDUTAP's videos were very clear, crips and. Uh, means uh, detailed it was detailed uh, video and uh, the notes and uh, the tests mock tests so it helped mm -hmm. okay and as it was your second attempt in the nabad grade exam so what has been the learning from your previous attempt in which you could not clear this exam uh, the learnings will be i had to be consistent uh, so it was the first uh, attempt so i, I was happy uh, i had reached till interview stage in the first attempt Okay. And uh, I did not uh, leave the preparation. Okay. Initially, I felt bad and uh, left for one month. But I mm -hmm. regained uh, the energy and uh, did it again. Okay, that's great. And also, Pavan, you mentioned that you were working while you were preparing for this exam. So how yeah. did you manage like being working at the same time and preparing for the exam? As so many students also ask this kind of doubt that we are working. So how can we prepare alongside with their job? Yes, uh, my uh, strategy was very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to uh, study in the quality times. Means uh, in the morning I had to study, and in, in the evening I had I had uh, revised what I had studied in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, always looked for uh, the quality time. Means uh, at least uh, two three hours, uh, okay. But uh, it it should be quality time. Means uh, everything should be go to mind. No okay. disturbances. Like, how much time do you use to give on a daily basis for this? Like in the uh, morning, how much hours do you use to devote for your preparation? Uh, I used to spend uh, two to three hours in the morning. Okay. And in the evening, uh, I got only one to two hours time. Okay. So I had the, uh, revised. In the morning, you used to study and in the evening, you used to revise? Revise, yes. yes. Okay. And what about the weekends on your off days? Week uh, I had six days a week uh, office, okay. so I I used to get only Sundays, and in the Sundays I has had I did mocks. Okay, okay. Mock test for practice. Mock test, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Okay, and uh, Pavan, how did you keep yourself motivated during the preparation journey? You must have gone through some ups and downs during the preparation time. So, what was yeah. your energy boosted during those times? Uh, I used to uh, put sticky notes on the boards. Uh, okay. so motivational my, quotes kind motivational of quotes uh, okay. and uh, uh, in the times I had been uh, in the in the times of low times uh, low motivation times I used to watch uh, the videos of the achievers previous okay. achievers grade B achievers mm -hmm. so that also motivated me okay great great Okay, so Pavan, so let's move on to the strategy that you followed for this about like phase one. Let's talk about the phase one first. So as you know that the syllabus, uh, the pattern has changed. The uh, phase one has been divided into two sections. That is, first, first is the qualifying and second one is the merit section. So yes. if I talk about the qualifying section and the specific subject is decision making, firstly. So what was your approach regarding decision making as uh, like uh, it's very confusing when it comes to definite source and a lot of books are available, but no single uh, book will provide you a comprehensive approach. So what was your approach regarding decision making subject? Uh, decision making I had uh, studied in the management in MBA. 
so mm-hmm. i had uh, revised uh, what i had studied in okay. the beginning especially the organizational behavior uh, okay. the topic so it uh, helped um, uh, me to eliminate the options okay so apart from your management subject have you followed any other uh, like uh, courses for this subject no ma'am only for from your management only yeah ma'am and uh, some other materials i had uh, got last minute so i had had okay. referred so have you made any notes from uh, the uh, like from the sources that you referred for this decision making uh, no ma'am no special notes no special notes okay and yeah. what about the computer section like what course topics did you cover for this uh, specific subject uh, i had uh, covered it from uh, some coaching materials uh, sources okay okay uh, some other coaching material sources so uh, uh, i had a uh, uh, touch with the uh, computer subject so that mm-hmm. was not that was manageable for me okay so just the basic requirement like you, you just need to have some basic knowledge about computer or do we need to get some deeper yeah. inside the subject yes ma'am and i had uh, just focused on managing uh, to clear the cutoff for uh, okay. other section and for the marriage sections i had uh, so, some uh, extra preparations okay you just have gone through the basics for this computer section and have you given any mock test for the same as well uh, no ma'am no Only just you just have gone through the basics yes ma'am i used to give one mock for every week na so it okay, got okay. it had covered in that and you i used to a... take mm-hmm. notes uh, if i had uh, not able to uh, okay. answer the question mm-hmm. so that i use for last minute revision so were the questions easy for computer section and decision making or were they of some no. other level like moderate or difficult uh, they were uh, really confusing the computer so both and... decision making and computer yeah. yes they were confusing so how did you yes. tackle that situation like uh, uh, i uh, i use the strategy of uh, going all in okay yeah means uh, uh, i had uh, attempted uh, whatever uh, i felt comfortable mm-hmm. and initially i thought uh, i would leave some questions but uh, later uh, after coming after going through all the questions and coming back to uh, again uh, to that question i felt uh, i know this answer and uh, i answered some of them okay okay it was because of some confusion at the beginning you just panicked but yeah. after some time you got cooled down yes. and then you were able to answer the questions yes initially the mind will be clogged mm. because of the tensions and all yeah obviously okay and uh, what about the quant in reasoning what was your approach regarding these subjects have you given any mock test or you have like uh, referred to some books or other sources regarding these subjects i uh, just uh, watched uh, videos uh, uh, in the youtube uh, from uh, other um, uh, coaching uh, institute materials and okay. uh, whatever sources i get i uh, used to do that in the free time i okay. focus mainly on esi and ard okay okay so you just given your focus only for like as they are just qualifying so you just give yes. less focus to them and only refer to some basic material for yeah. these yes ma'am okay okay and now if i talk about the merit section the merit section of three subjects that is are included in this ga esi and ard so yeah. if for first year i will talk about the ga what was the approach like for how many months of current affairs have you referred for the ga part uh, i uh, uh, constantly studied for ga from the past uh, months also so i was uh, continued with the preparation the past years preparation okay. but uh, not uh, rigorously but i used mm-hmm. to watch uh, the videos daily videos at least okay but for, like have you referred to some specific month current affairs or you were just regularly following the current affairs regularly following and last 3 months i was uh, specifically focusing okay were you making notes out of it or you just referring to some things yes yes i was making notes uh, because uh, okay. it helped me remember okay and what how was the design of your notes like were they short long or how did you revise them i like, used I to write so much information yeah, I, i used to write on a4 sheet papers and uh, i used to revise uh, those, uh, those not digital notes because i was not comfortable with that and uh, it uh, uh, i think uh, by writing uh, i got um, it uh, in my head means uh, okay. it uh, the memory will be long term i thought yeah. so what the short notes like uh, just point to point wise you have made notes or what the like line line wise you have made the notes 
what i felt uh, important i used to note down it and okay. uh, there some tricky ones like uh, regular ga like uh, the awards mm-hmm. and uh, all that was confusing sometimes means uh, especially the uh, f1 uh, races uh, uh, and uh, some trophy winning so that was confusing okay. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so I used to write to, them down and revise uh, them yeah. multiple times. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, fine. And uh, Pawan, if I talk about ESI and ARD, okay. ESI and ARD subjects, so as they are both common in both phase one and phase two, so what was yeah. your uh, like approach? Like, uh, was your preparation integrated for these two subjects for both the phases or have you done separate preparation for phase one no, and phase two, ESI and ARD? Uh, I was preparing for that, keeping uh, phase two in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there is no interpreted uh, means i mean uh, it was uh, wholly focused on phase 2 okay uh, i i was uh, uh, confident that i will clear the phase 1 okay okay so while so, you were preparing for phase 2 si ard the phase 1 mm-hmm. gets automatically cleared in that was yes. basically so yes sir uh, and uh, uh, Paman, what was the current affairs like uh, what approach for current affairs esi current affairs if i talk about so are there any specific topics that we can prepare for esi current affairs uh, no there is no specific topics but uh, edutap had uh, managed uh, it very well means uh, the uh, videos uh, the divisions uh, that is like uh, first from the from the basic uh, mm-hmm. Uh, to the advance so uh, it helped me uh, to manage the syllabus divide the syllabus and do it okay so mm-hmm. yeah and uh, uh, initially i did uh, some videos uh, and uh, uh, some research on that topic in the google and uh, uh, in the videos in the youtube so whatever comfortable i had to do that initially i did like uh, uh, i had to master it uh, like in that approach but later in the second attempt uh, i took it easy and uh, did uh, whatever time i get i will do that so okay. i i was not uh, looking for perfect uh, preparation means uh, if i did that I, it took uh, so much time and uh, mm-hmm. the scarcity of time was there for me Mm-hmm. So I was just looking for confidence. Like uh, I did this topic, okay, I'm comfortable with that. Okay, okay. Like you just, so, uh, if you are doing some topic, yeah. but you are just keeping it, like revising it multiple times to yes, like get a hold of it and yes. be confident that it will be, it could be after the exam. Uh, yes, okay. ma'am. Uh, and the whole uh, uh, strategy was for me that uh, the gaining confidence. Mm-hmm. In the topic. So, in the exams, uh, whatever uh, we study, there will be surprise question. Mm-hmm. So, the elimination plays very important role. Mm-hmm. To eliminate, uh, we need to be confident. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, if you want to be perfect in everything, there is uh, uh, no end to it. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's true. And uh, Pavan, what about the reports? Like, as there are so many reports that needs to be covered yeah. for the exam point of view. So, what was your strategy regarding these reports? So, like, have you prepared any specific reports, or have you gone through all the reports that are being given? Uh, I had uh, just produced the compilations of uh, uh, various sources and edit apps mm-hmm. also. Okay. Um, initially, I felt that in the various groups, uh, the people have managed to refer the original reports. Uh, I was uh, pretty uh, getting fear, like uh, I did not uh, s- uh, refer from original sources. Uh, so it will be difficult for me in the descriptive like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I think it is not uh, necessary to refer the original source, but uh, it will be graphically it would be uh, very good to, uh, to refer means uh, that uh, images will be catchy and that if you get free time in the office time in the lunch time if you get some time that would be okay to refer okay. but uh, especially doing that will be boring and uh, it will abstract the uh, preparation i guess mm-hmm. uh, we we had to do whatever uh, we can afford I mean, some people are doing uh, so that we should do, it would not work, I guess. No? In the first attempt, I did learn this. 
Okay. Uh, in the first attempt, I had um, managed to study uh, like slogging uh, for seven to eight hours. Okay. Okay. So that uh, backfired on me, I guess. Means uh, I was very low in confidence. Low in confidence. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had to prepare this and that. I did not prepare this uh, and that. Uh, so I was uh, always worried. But this time, I just my uh, motivation, my uh, uh, approach was to just get confidence. I had uh, I had uh, studied this topic and uh, okay, I can afford this and I can do this. Okay, okay. that's great. That's great, Pawan. So uh, and uh, like which schemes? If I talk about the government schemes. So, which schemes to cover, according to you, and how to cover those schemes? Uh, in the first attempt, I had uh, made notes for the government scheme. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I just uh, updated it uh, in this time. Okay. Uh, so making notes will help. Writing it down will help to memorize better. Okay. And uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, taking one scheme and googling it from the various sources will help us uh, uh, remember the facts, mm-hmm. because uh, the paper, objective paper, will be factual in nature. Yes. Yeah. So we have to be ready for that also. I had to do it in the office time one scheme per day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Pavan, we have talked about like, all the subjects related to phase one and ESI and ARD also. Yeah. So, uh, now if I talk about the descriptive part that has been recently added in the syllabus, so how did you prepare for the descriptive part? How did you begin writing? Like, uh, as it's uh, we have to type on the with the help of a keyboard in the exam. So, how did you start it preparing like for the descriptive part, basically for ESI and ARD? For that, uh, I had uh, mm, uh, no specific uh, uh, preparation. Mm-hmm. So the uh, flow was natural uh, in the writing, but uh, in the computer it was not natural. I was uh, feeling anxious and stressed. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, the uh, thoughts were not uh, easy com- easily coming to my mind. Uh, so I had to adapt to the computer environment and uh, I used to uh, type uh, daily some uh, sometime whatever time mm-hmm. I get. I used to type in the computer, and uh, but not a specific profession. But I used uh, the simple approach like uh, uh, writing in the simple sentences and mm-hmm. uh, grammatically correct. Okay. And uh, uh, technically correct means um, no errors in the spellings and uh, grammars like that. So how did you and make cont- sure that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, made sure it it it, it cannot be cross checked because four hundred six hundred words. Uh, Uh, the time goes for that uh, typing only so okay. while typing we have to be careful okay yeah, yeah, i ensured that uh, whatever time i get and what about your typing speed how did you increase your typing speed so that you can complete the questions on time uh initially for first uh, one or two questions i used to take uh, some more time mm-hmm. and uh, I had to manage in the last uh, two questions, okay. but uh, initial initially sometimes is required for brainstorming and all. <laughs> Later we catch up uh, with that. Okay. So uh, there is uh, the, we cannot do the particular division of uh, like for this uh, uh, four subjects, uh, fifteen minutes each. We cannot do that. Mm-hmm. Some uh, initial questions will take a uh, longer time, so mm-hmm. we had to manage in the mm-hmm. later mm-hmm. questions. So being stress free is the only thing. Okay. I guess. Yeah. And if it, I talk about yeah, yeah, please tell. Yeah. Uh, if you stress like in the first question, I had uh, spent uh, uh, 25 minutes instead of 15 minutes, then mm-hmm. you get get stress, and uh, the later questions will be ruined. Yes. So we have to be uh, like uh, elastic approach means. Uh, Comfortable with the whatever time, and uh, the main goal is to complete the questions, all the questions. Mm-hmm. No leaving uh, any questions uh, or worrying like I had to complete six hundred words, uh, so I can leave that uh, fourth one. Uh, no, at least we had to type in at least two hundred words for the last question. Okay. So some of the my friends uh, uh, thought in that way, like uh, I had 
had uh, attempted a three in the 600 words and fourth one i left it but mm-hmm. they slightly missed the final okay uh, cut off yeah so uh, attempting all the questions is uh, necessary okay Okay, but you must have that typing speed as well. You must have the knowledge inside yeah. your mind to type, yeah. like to uh, like cover all the questions on time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. And there was a surprising so, question also. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so like this year we famously got uh, mm-hmm. uh, the breeds questions and all. Okay. So as they were, as you said, they were surprising for you. So how did you manage, like in that situation? Like as you must not be having that much knowledge that is required at that time. How did you manage yeah. to answer that particular question? Uh, yes, I uh, typed whatever I uh, I am uh, comfortable with means uh, what I, whatever I know I had I had knowledge so I had typed mm-hmm. in. Okay. Uh, so there was no stress taken. Like this was uh, surprising. How can I do it? No, there will be no time for that. Okay. We have to act speedily. Okay. So, uh, for acting speedily, we have to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there will be no uh, means um, stress. There should not be stress. There will be stress, but we have to manage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We should not let overpower the stress on our mind. Okay, yeah. so Bhavan, as I can see that you basically focusing on we have to be like the candidate must have to be stress free and calm and composed while giving these answers to this particular question. And you should not lose your calm while giving any answer, yeah. you know, even if the questions were surprising or everything. Because in the beginning, when you see the questions, they could be like you, you should, you, it's not necessary that you know the answers to all the questions, but you should keep your calm. And yes. then uh, with that full mind, you should answer all the questions. You will be yes, able ma'am. to answer at the end of time. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Papa, if I talk about the uh, last paper, that is the descriptive English paper, so can you please let me know the approach for the descriptive English? Like uh, for, letter writing all these subjects, but how did you manage all these questions? Uh, it, this year, the descriptive English was very easy. I felt okay. very easy for me. Mm-hmm. Unlike last year, uh, I was uh, comfortable with the uh, uh, screens. The last mm-hmm. year, the screen was the issue. Means that there was a very less space for typing. Mm-hmm. And we had to... Uh, scroll for the answers the answers were hiding okay. so this year i was mentally prepared for that mm-hmm. and uh, i felt un- uncomfortable in some uh, sometimes but uh, we had to manage so everybody got the same window okay. so we had to be calm and uh, just do it okay and while you were answering this particular question in descriptive english for example as you are writing yeah. So, what was the design of your answer? Like, how did you uh, were writing the answer in points, in paragraphs, or how yeah. did you give the introduction, conclusion, all these things? Uh, I just divided the essay in three parts: that like uh, introduction, body, and uh, conclusion. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, introduction and uh, the conclusion was a uh, smaller paragraph, and the body was the bigger one. Mm-hmm. And I uh, used to connect the sentences. Means. Uh, there should not be some other uh, topic uh, discussed in the later sentences apart. Uh, so it, it should be the flow. There should be a flow. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I just managed that. Okay. And I uh, just ensured the uh, words, uh, the 200 words means 210, uh, like that. Not uh, much uh, words and not, not more words, not less words. Okay. So I just... Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, just followed what mm. the instruction had been given. All right, all right. Okay, so, Pavan, let's move on to the third phase, that is the interview phase. So, let's, uh, can you please tell you how, how did your interview went? Interview went very well. Okay. Uh, it was uh, basically around my job and uh, what I did in my job. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, it was a very comfortable. The panel okay, was so very comfortable. The questions were the... more from your profile or from related to Nabad, like uh, yeah. in nature? Uh, it was related to how the Nabad uh, had impacted in uh, your village. Okay. And uh, so how did you get benefited? How mm-hmm. villages get benefited? Okay. And uh, what role will you play in your job uh, for mm-hmm. that? And uh, why you want to switch? 
you are already working in uh, in the fields and abroad had been doing so why you want to switch okay so we, we, uh, the mocks uh, that i had taken uh, from uh, the various sources and uh, the edutap especially helped me because uh, the mock was uh, so similar uh, to the edutaps uh, the real interview Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, yeah, it was very easy, comfortable, and the, especially the chairman sir was uh, encouraging to talk, encouraging to talk, even when there is a noise issues and all. Sometimes the noise will not be audible, as it was virtual interview. So they repeated the questions when they were asked. So your interview panel was coordinated. Yeah, it was uh, easy. It was easy, and I used uh, I used to refer uh, the annual reports of NABARD and uh, various uh, PLPs, previous two years PLPs. And so that was help. That helped me to articulate the answers. But uh, whatever we think uh, will not be will not able to articulate in the final minutes because of the stress. but uh, i did uh, good i guess and from what according to you they are looking for an ideal candidate for the nepal yeah sorry ma'am so i am asking that uh, what according to you the interview panel members are looking for an ideal candidate for nepal uh, did not get uh, the question Uh, i'm saying that uh, what do you think that the panel members are looking for in an ideal candidate for nabard what qualities are they basically looking for uh, they are they are looking for uh, the confident uh, and the calm officers to manage in all situations who are ready to work uh, for uh, uh, any part of india i guess and uh, who are comfortable to do job and they were repeatedly asking uh, for uh, like uh, uh, any other exams we were attempting okay yeah i don't know why they are asking but uh, okay. i felt uh, they were, they were looking for long term uh, sticking candidate yes actually every organization basically look for a long term candidate yeah. so yeah that maybe they could be asking because of this reason Uh, yeah i don't know that because of so many pressures uh, have also been mm-hmm. got selected and uh, the working candidates uh, are also selected so, so i don't know what uh, they are looking for it was just my guess yeah it could be okay so pavan uh, that is it from my side so i have asked all the possible question that i can like get was possible answer from your side so thank you so much for giving this useful and valuable insights and they would definitely help you uh, as far as that are preparing for the nabard gd exam so thank you so much for coming to the session thank you very much many many congratulations to you for clearing this exam thank you ma'am thank you so much okay, we are done sir yeah thank you okay thank you